Hello and welcome Pixels! In this tutorial I want to talk about the personal and most used functions for transforming vertices. Maybe I don't cover everything, so please don't deal severally with me. Let's go to edit mode, switch to vertex selection mode with 1. Select 1 and start with the basics. The G button is the basic transform shortcut. You are able to move the vertex freely in 3D space or in orthographic space by switching the view. Accept every action with your main mouse button. Double G slides your vertex along the edge till the next vertex. The selected edge for this function depends on your view and mouse movement. You are able to merge vertices very easily with this method if auto merge is enabled. The behavior is the same than double G, but now you are able to follow the direction of the edge and you are not limited to the edge length itself. The G button lets you move the vertex freely by pressing an axis type with X. Epsilon or Z, you bind the movement to this axis. You are able to switch axis while moving. You are able to bind the movement to an axis by pressing the middle mouse button and move your mouse cursor to a particular direction. You will need the transform panel for this. Call it up with the short key N and be sure to select the item tab. If you want to move your vertex by an exact value to a particular direction, you are able to do this here. If you just want to move the vertex to a particular axis direction, hover the wanted axis, click and hold the mouse button and move the mouse to a left or right side to rise and lower the value. To enable or disable snap mode, click this button here or press the shortcut Shift plus Tab. I switch to vertex snap mode because it is necessary for this tutorial. Press G and hover a other vertex with your mouse cursor to snap your selected vertex to the hovered one. The two vertices will be merged if auto merge is enabled. If not, they just share the same 3D space position. By pressing an axis direction with X, Epsilon or Z or press as well the middle mouse button, you will be able to snap a selected vertex to other vertex value of this axis. This works as well for other objects vertex location. And if you select more than only one vertex. Scaling or rotating of a bunch of vertices transform a single vertex as well, just to be said. The O button enables the proportional editing mode. This button is here for enable or disable as well. If one vertex is selected and will be moved, others will follow it depending on the radius. The radius defines the intensity of movement. So that's it. I hope I showed you a method which will help you while modeling. Thank you very much for watching, it would be very nice if you give this video a like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers!